Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we were here, we went back to, uh, or we actually ended up in 12,000 BC. But, uh, before we did that, I wanted to go back and get some of the equipment that you can get by trading in the items back in 12 million, or 65 million BC. So, uh, I got the Aeon Blade for, uh, Chrono, the Magma Hand, and the Ceratopper, which I just equipped anyway, and the Ruby Vest for, um... Robo. I got the uh, Rock Helm for Frog, the Dream Bow for Marl, and the Dream Gun for Luca. Uh, you only need to get the equipment since I'm pretty sure the uh, or the the weapons because I'm pretty sure the defensive equipment is the same as when you were there earlier in the game. But yeah, so just decided to upgrade my uh, defenses and whatnot. And since we're here, I might as well go talk to Mekio who is now Speccio. That's the biggest toy I've ever seen. You're not a lot, you got strength, however. I can't measure, or measure your inner character. I can't give any magic to you. But your laser weapons will suffice. They can inflict shadow-type damage. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed. But you seem to have other skills that will get you by. No. I don't want to get dead by Speccio. So, yeah. Ayla can't cast magic, and Robo's a... Uh, well, he can't cast magic either. But now he has the, uh, oh, that's not, yeah. The, his beam weapons do shadow damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let's heal up, save. The Magic Kingdom. Alright, so let's head to Disney World. I believe that's right here. Earthbound Island, 12,000 BC. That's where we want to go. Yeah, sorry for last episode if it was kind of lackluster on commentary. Uh... It's the problem with boss fights in these RPGs. There's really nothing to talk about. It's just like, oh yeah, we're fighting a boss now, and he's, uh, it's kind of hard. And it seems that the world has been frozen over. What the hell is this place? Skyway. What the hell? Beat me up, Scotty. Oh, I had to. I'm sorry. Where, what the hell is this place? In Hasa. Hmm. Welcome to Inhasa, the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find truth in the bliss of sleep. Dear me, who might you be? Uh, I'm nobody. Don't worry about me. This is the eternal kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can come true. But at what price? What strange visitors? Welcome to Zeal. Is this part of a dream? Queen Zeal rules our magic kingdom. Huh, well, I mean, you'd figure. Queen has given us everything. After the king died, she nurtured magic, which advanced the kingdom. Oh, so this area is kind of cool. You got like magic ruling everybody. That's that's pretty interesting. What can I do for you? And she will sell you equipment. I want to buy shelters because I don't have any at all. The door to the North Palace is sealed with a mysterious energy. Even we, the enlightened ones, cannot open it. Oh, boohoo. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds like the kind of weapons I need to get my hands on. That pyramid looks familiar. Eh, but what do I know? Huh, oh, there's a boy. That hairstyle looks kind of familiar, but... I don't know. What wrong? The animal good food? Interesting dialogue. The black wind howls. One among you will shortly perish. Are you sure? What are the percentages? Robo is awesome. But not bad boy. Remember that for later. This is a spring of recovery. I feel the power. That's what I'm talking about. Wish we had some more of those. I don't know. Eh. So that's happening right now. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. The city of Kajar! <laughs> the airship Blackbird. That just sounds menacing. Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? If you've ever played Persona 1, uh, yeah, you'll probably remember that one. Hmm. Alright, well, let's continue on.
Actually, you can open this book too, I think. It's got water. There's the agua. And the, and the winds. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of exchange. Blah, blah, blah for magic. Alright, now where'd he go? Yeah, so he basically just says the same thing over and over again. So let's head this away. Ooh, beat me down. You wonder why they would make travel to the uh, surface area here. Wh why they would do that instead of just making like sky bridges or something. But I didn't design the magic world. I don't know. All right. I, I just work here. I just take the Skyway, one leg at a time, like any other guy. Wee! This is a pretty cool area to explore. Yeah, this is probably like one of my favorite areas in any video game. Alright, let's see now. There's caves, and then there's Kajara. That's where they said they study this magic, what have you. Hmm. Look at these! Freaking statues, that's menacing as hell. A strange aura of kindness. Well, they do call me, uh. Ancient Rainbow Cell? Shell, sorry. I've always had a problem saying shell. Same with, like, Hillary. I've always had problems saying those words. The Guru of Life. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. How do we get down there? I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Oh god! It's on fire! He will sell you items. Uh, I don't really need items right now, so... I got load shields, shields, but I can't sell them unless the queen says it's okay. Alright, so that gives us something to work for in life. Head in here. What's going on in this room? Ocean Palace. The Earth Bound Ones. That's an awesome name. So does that make us like the Skybound Ones? Is, is that what's going on here? Belthazar. And they called me Belthazar. Sounds like a magical wizard. Huh. So apparently people who can't use magic live on the Earth. And those who can live up here in magic land of awesome. Well, if this ain't some How Miyazaki stuff right here, I don't know what is. Who's this guy? E e everything's okay, Sir Dalton. Of course it is, you idiot. Hey, you, what are you doing there? <laughs> it was true then, you're the ones the prophet said would come and cause trouble. Let's see how you handle this situation. I didn't think they'd make it so easy on me, ha! Huh? What situa- what's he talking about? I swear crazies, man. Flamboyant crazy guys, that's all we fight in these games. There's always one of them in any RPG, there's some like crazed flamboyant insane person. See, like, any RPG. Any, like, right now we just fought Dalton. That guy's flamboyant. I can already tell. We just saw him. And our, like, five seconds. Like, who, who else is... Who else is flamboyant? Uh, what's his name from Tales of the Abyss? The guy that, uh... Ah, uh, what's his name? Dis the Reaper. He is flamboyant as all hell. That man's a newcomer, but his accurate prophecies he's a drifter, not one of the enlightened ones. <laughs> Alright, so apparently there's a prophet. Yes. There's always some weird... Okay. Remember that for later. <laughs> Believe it or not, that becomes a plot point. I always have weird, like, scratching and back rubbings in these games. Damn right, you'll move. The Mammon Machine. I don't want to go there right now because I don't want to die a horrible death. 
Also, a little known fact, if you come down here... Melchior? Huh. So that's Masamune, in case you didn't get the hint. So let's head up this way. Can't open that yet. An item like Scala's Pendant. Hmm. How are we going to get something like that? Alright, move, chubby. Prophet's aura is filled with hatred and sorrow. The Mammon Machine. That just sounds horrifying. There's that creepy statue again. What the hell is that thing? Hmm. Melchior. Wonder if it's the same Melchior from our time. You don't say. Alright, I already read that. This is the source of Zeal's strength. Alright, well, that's fun times and all. So let's head this away. Always to the right. Scala! Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? The black wind. You feel it too? Don't worry, it'll be alright. Now hold on to this. It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. She is not our mother. Me. Nee. Oh, so that's Shala. I don't know who that, that's that little boy from earlier. Hmm. We are the boss diggity, in case you didn't know. Plus, we like to stalk in people's rooms and just listen in on their conversations. That's how we roll. Go away. Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Guessing he's talking about that stupid cat. I'll just talk to you directly. I don't care. I'll open up this book. Or maybe not. I guess I'll run. I'll see you some other time, kid. Alright, so what's going on in this room? Is there nair dwelling? Huh. You don't say. Alright, so apparently we she's got this red stone that can activate the mammon machine. And they're going into the ocean palace now. So let's head up here and see what's going down. She's not over here. Huh. What does it mean? Alright, well... I know that one of the most annoying parts in the game is coming up here pretty soon, so... Oh, what's she doing? Looks like those doors that are sealed off in the future and what have you. Hmm. How come the... Yeah. Huh. Looks like we can't do anything there. So maybe we have to go to the Mammon Machine. Maybe that's what's gotta go down. There's This is one of those weird sequence events where you have to like do one thing and then do the next. And strange. Strangeness. So now we have the power! Like a double-A battery, our pendant is recharged. So now that we did that, we could run all the way back and open the door. Isn't this fun times here on Let's Play Chrono Trigger? Damn, Skippy, I could open doors now. So now you can actually go and open all of the doors in the, uh... In the game, those secret doors or whatever. Uh, is that the prophet? Who are you? How did you get in here? Your majesty, they are the evil ne'er duels. Foreigners? How dare you? Gollum! And Dalton just like, oh, Gollum. 
He Final Fantasy summons Gollum. Who really looks like a Chrono, or a, not a Crocha, a, uh... He really looks like a uh, Dragon Warrior enemy, that's what I wanted to say. And this could hurt. I believe that leaves you... It does a percentage of your health, basically. Copies physics, what does that mean? So, in case you're wondering, this is an unwinnable fight. Unless you're playing on your second round through, in which case you can win. However, it's not really worth it, honestly. Um, I don't know if it changes the story much. Or at all, honestly. I don't think so. But yeah, I'm like 90% sure you don't have to win this fight. Then again, I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. Ugh. Robo just trucking in and punching people. Just kill me already, come on. I really hope I have to lose this fight, otherwise we're screwed. There we go. Ha ha ha. Fear not. You won't die immediately, that is. But by the time we're through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a jerk. Oh, great. Floating in mid-space. That's what I like. It's the blue-haired people. Idiots. What will you do, Shayla? Let's rescue them. Eh, she doesn't care. Rescue the gurus. I think I missed the guy you have to talk to, but he basically says that the gurus are basically responsible for helping everything. Apparently, Melchior was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the king. Queen. I can't let you do that, Star Fox. Your meddling tires me. You just have to disappear. You mustn't. Huh. Remember how Janice said that the cat only likes him? Interesting. I'm sure that will come in play later. So you came in through here. Now, Shkala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. You can't make me do that, because I don't want to. See ya. <laughs> I like how Chrono still does the uh, the little salute he does. He's like, oh, I'll see you guys. And she uh, sealed the uh, the portal that we came in through. Please forgive me. Where are we going now? On the great space coaster. Come on board. It's a... Oh, we're back here in this hellhole. Fan freaking tastic. Why would the prophet spare us? They take energy from Lavos, but Lavos doesn't get weak. Yeah, he's right. Those doors that we saw in the future. That means we have to go. You guys got it. Back to the future. <laughs> oh, yes. A curious crest, huh? Hmm. Let us return to my time. All right, so that's all the time we have left for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Join me back next time when we go back to Chrono's time and go back to the future. Anyway, this has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.